We moved out on Callahan in 1992 from West Knoxville to get out of the congestion down here, all the traffic there. <laughs> but now look at it. I've got 10 times as much traffic on Old Callahan yeah. as I had in West Knoxville. They cut through there to save three red lights now. But anyway, I'd just like to verse the things that's happened to us, my wife and I, over the years, and the people that live on Old Callahan. I have five poles, a little over five acres. It goes below over the ridge, and I have commercial property on my fence line. I've got commercial property across the street. I've got it to the right. I've got it to the left. The developer coming there on the left side across the street, which is in the city of Knoxville, he cleared almost, what, uh, 10, 12 acres right there, cut all the beautiful trees down, stripped it of everything, the houses and everything, and now I've got weeds. I'm six foot three and I've got weeds up to me. That's what I have to look at now out of my front yard. And it's, it's not a pretty sign. But since 1992, I have fought and fought to preserve that area out in there. My next door neighbor has, the Stranges, Mr. Harris has, that owns a nursery out there. That's the only two neighbors that we have now. They're all gone. It's all commercial. All the pretty farms is gone. And with the coming of the new Callahan Road, it's brought industry into our area right here. But now I've come to, this, to the thing that I'm going to sell my property, and I want to get a fair price out of it. I can't sell it residential because there's too much noise in the neighborhood. We have a very hard time sleeping in the night. We've planted trees out in the front as fast growers to try to put the noise back. But you take Lowe's down there, all night long they're restocking. It's noise, noise, noise. You've got Kroger's that I'm full of rocking in. It's, it's just all like that out through there now. There was nothing out there when we moved out there except for an Ingle, a standard Walmart, and a McDonald's, Florida. But I have fought and fought. When they come out there next to my property, the first thing that went commercial out there was the mat bed and mattress place and the storage sheds. I fought with Knox County Commission and the neighbors around me did, but we lost. It went in there. He put a building right on my property line and all those storage sheds, and he wouldn't even put a fence up. So what did people do? They come onto my property and try to steal from us. This has been happening year after year. It's resold, and he still has not made, Knox County has not made him put a one of the high fences up that's under the regulations that go around those uh, shed units and everything. It's three minutes past three. Go ahead. You don't mind? I'll okay. take about another minute. Okay. Right. 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 You don't mind. But anyway, we got fault and fault, but we're just tired of it. We're, we're giving up. We're going to sell our property commercially if they'll let us. Because we can't even sleep at night now. I've bought dogs for protection, and I've got two and a half acres with a chain fence around it to keep thieves out of my property from stealing from it. That's how bad it's getting out of there. And I don't know who all lives in this area, but I know my neighbors are here, and I know they're going to speak tonight. But I have applied and applied to Knox County Commissioners, and they will not do nothing to help And my name is on record out there, and that's all I've got to say. Does anybody want to respond? Any task force members want to respond to Mr. Collette? The only thing that I would say in addition to that, uh, Mr. Collette, is that there certainly is an exceptional nature to the part of the Beaver Ridge which runs along Callahan Road. Okay? We recognize that is a intensely commercial arterial and that there probably should be exceptions because of, of its, the way it's composed right now. Now, how we build those in to whatever regulations that we come up with, if we have an ordinance or whatever, that's to be determined. But certainly, it is in the mind, it is in our mind, and certainly in the intent of this task force to protect property owners like you from what you've experienced. And I'll well, you that. we've lived up there since '92, and nothing's ever been done. And I've protested the new Callahan Road. Uh, all the commercial property up and all the way down to Callahan, and it's nothing has been done about it. So we're going to try to sell our property commercial. What do you want for? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon? 
real estate. Move on. What do you want for it, Elizabeth? He's got a good price on the phone. You don't do real estate now. Actually, if I could, if maybe I can address, since other commission maybe wasn't here, actually Thomas Schumper and Ralph Teague and a group of citizens work very hard, and I know Buzz knows about it, to create that corridor on Callahan Road at Commercial and Industrial so we can have the metal buildings and the plants and not stick them on Emory Road and over on Merchant Road. That area was designated mm -hmm. for what it is. Mm -hmm. And you should have been forewarned before you bought it that that was what was going to happen to all of it. And I regret that you're in the mess, but I mean, actually, it was designed for the good of Knox County for what it's doing now. Could you identify yourself for those? My names? name is Bruce Williams. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Bruce. And uh, Pamela Strange is next. Yes, I'll just speak from here if that's all right. Um, I went to the NPC meetings. I wanted to say uh, something about what Bruce said. Mm -hmm. The rendition of what I saw at the NPC meetings was more like what I see in West Knoxville with what we have some of on New Cal what I call New Callahan Road, where you have the real nice office buildings and that sort of thing. Your reference to metal buildings and industrial, I don't remember any of that coming up at those meetings that I attended at that time. It looked beautiful. I mean, it looked just really nice, but that's not exactly what we're seeing. There's a smidge of it, but not too much. And my question, or what I wanted to say, has been answered somewhat by Dennis Pellets. Uh, I have lived on Old Calhoun Road since 1971, and where the Target and the, and the Kroger's are, I rented pasture there for my horses for $10 a month. So that's how country it was. <coughs> the city has come out to us and made our home not at all what it used to be. So we're in the very same situation, my husband Joseph and I, as Dennis Collette and my neighbor on the other side, Kathy Vandegrift. What I would like to see as part of this, uh, I would like to see some provisions made, uh, maybe part of the task force that has, is, has the representatives representing the situations like us, where there are, and we know that there are going to be exceptions made, and a lot of the properties around you have already been developed. The property across the street from me is owned by Tim Graham, who you all have heard of quite a lot, I guess, and something is going to happen with that. And I have likewise been planting trees. Uh, I love the woods. I love uh, nature tremendously. And what has happened out there is been very different than what I had for quite some time there. I didn't ask it to come to us. So we cannot purchase something like what we have for what we could get out of our property to sell the residential, which very unlikely could be sold residential, nor can we, if this initiative takes place, potentially be able to sell it for commercial. So we're in a situation that we are there we listen to the, the, park, the sweepers in the parking lots. We hear the dumpster slam between 4 and 4.30 every morning. When they develop the property down where wholesale furniture is, my husband worked for uh, the Office of Surface Mining, and he was a reclamation inspector. And we called repeatedly about the silt fences not being installed properly and not being maintained. And it, nothing was done about it. What this task force is going to have to do you see that those laws are enforced. Those that it's done right. And then we will not have some of the problems that you are showing up here. They will be reclaimed uh, properly. Thank you. Uh, and 